Is it going to be productive? Is it going to create more food, even though I spent a bit more to do it? And can I be, as a farmer, still profitable? People like you and people that are in your sector believe that uh, we need two things from fundament, two ingredients. One is more information and the other one is more prediction. Help us to understand why more information and more prediction can create such a radical transformation that you can make, uh, I don't know, double amount of food out of the same terrain. It's not yeah. immediate obvious why. Yeah, of course, you're right. It's a very, very hard problem. Where the way we looked at it, first to understand the problem is, okay, so let's look at the you know, average yield from a corn or soybean field that feeds, you know, it's the staples crop of this world today. What really happens there? So they apparently are losing about 40% of the production in the season, you know, before even harvesting it and shipping it and things are lost, you know, on the way, even in the season, in, when it's in the field, when it's growing, losing 40% of the yield. And that's on uh, insect damage. It's on crop diseases. So I don't know if everybody knows that Crops have diseases like us. They have uh, other diseases. They have bacteria and viruses, but they mostly have fungus that kills crops. Uh, there is uh, fertilizer problems. There are uh, weeds that are, when I talk about weeds, it's every plant that competes with what we're trying to grow. So uh, a lot of these weeds are very good at growing fast and they take resources from the actual crop. So these things, each one, takes about 10% of the yield. You know, some of them are more, some of them are less. Like disease is actually 14%. Uh, so that alone is a $250 billion uh, losses in terms of food in the commodity price level, not even the consumer price. That's already, you know, uh, much more than that. So why are they losing so much? Uh, because they don't know what's going on right now. That's the information part. They don't know what they have in the field right now, like how many weeds, how many pests, but and also predictive, like uh, it's okay to have some level of weeds and pests because it also costs a lot to spray uh, the right uh, herbicide to kill the weeds or insecticide to kill the insects, uh, fungicide to get rid of the disease. It costs money too and work. So you have to balance it. So you have to be predictive to know if I apply now, is it really going to be, you know, RRI positive? Is it going to be productive? Is it going to create more food, even though I spent a bit more to do it? And can I be as a farmer still profitable? Um, so that's where you need predictive too, uh, to um, know how it's going to evolve. I think most of us don't know anything about 40% uh, of uh, crop being destroyed every year because of combination of uh, basically plant sickness. And you talk about fungus. So what do we know today about this problem of fungus? Like, is there like one single fungi that, that attack everybody? There are many. Do these things get into our plates as well? Like, like if there is a fungi mm. in, in the crop, do they get into our body? And is it dangerous? Yeah, it's, it's another point. So apart from yield, you know, in commodity crops like uh, corn and soybean and wheat, we talk about the yield mostly, but there's also a quality standpoint. And uh, the disease, if it was there for a long time, uh, even if it didn't kill the crop yet, it could have done some, created some toxins in the grains. So uh, luckily, food production, they check, you know, their production. Uh, but a farmer that had that, you know, might not get paid for his crop that he invested the whole year or not as much if it's not, not a good quality. 